Kal Halalium Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai Bahashem Harakakodash Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and Shalom to all the saints I came out there <clears throat> pushing this word in truth and sincerity across the four winds of the earth. So this is going to be a lesson going into pray, praying and fasting. Pray and fasting, man. Because in these last days and times, praying and fasting, man, asking, go, going, to your, going before your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and asking Him for mercy and guidance and protection it is most pertin pertinent, man. It's most necessary, man. Because we, we enter in some dangerous and perilous times, man. The times of Jacob trouble. So this is the book. This is the book of Joel, chapter 2, verse 12. Therefore also now, say the Lord, turn, turn ye even to me with all your heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning. Come on, and that's what we as men of the Lord are to do, man. We are to turn to the Lord with fasting, man. Going, going with our food and water, man, for 24 hours, or 2 days, or 3 days, or how many ever days the Spirit gives you to do, man, gives you strength to do. With weeping and mourning, man, we crying out to the Lord, man, asking Him to deliver us from this captivity, man, from this slavery on the east of Edom, man. And with that comes much praying and fasting. It's necessary. You know what I mean? Afflicting our souls, man, crying out to the Lord. This is the book of Daniel, <clears throat> chapter 9, verse 3. And I set my face unto the Lord Yahweh to seek by prayer and supplication. With fasting and sackcloth and ashes, can so that's how we, we that's how that's how we turn to the Lord, man. With with prayer and fasting, man. You know what I mean? Being in a lowly state, man. Ask asking for supplicate. Go going to the Lord with all supplication, man. Asking for mercy, man. Asking for guidance and protection, man. Asking for for, for forgiveness, man. Praying that He accept us, accept us, for for for, for accept. That uh that we are forgiven of our of our sins, man. That we are sorrowful, man. That we are merciful. <clears throat> Verse four. And I prayed unto the Lord my power, and made my confession, and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful power, keeping the, the covenant and mercy to them that love Him, and to keep and and to them that keep His commandments. Come. So 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 to to our keeping of His commandments, man. Praying, fasting, and supplication is part of those commandments, man. We must do that, man, for oblation, for forgiveness of our sins, man. Because we are not perfect, man. We, we are far from perfect. Like the scriptures say, our righteousness is unto the Lord as filthy rags, man. So, so we, we, we most need prayer and fasting, man. So Yahweh Bashem Yahushai can look upon us and have mercy, man. Verse 5. We have sinned and committed iniquity and have done wickedly and have rebelled even by departing from thy precepts and from thy judgments. Come. Because all of us in this truth, man, there was once upon a time when we was in the world, man, rebelling, sinning, transgressing the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man, doing wickedly, doing after the ways of Satan. So therefore, we need mercy, man. We need forgiveness for those times, man, for those trespasses. Even now in this truth, man, we still go off, man. Why? Because we are still in the flesh. We are still under the captivity of Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. We, 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 we are still listening in our captivity, man. Subject, subject unto Esau, Edom, man, and subject to the flesh. Therefore, subject to sin. Subject to the transgression of the law. Verse 6, Neither have we hearkened unto thy servants, the prophets, which spake in thy name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of, of the land. Come, because Israel has been a rebellious people, man. We, we have been a rebellious people, man. But there's an elect, an elect that is going to come back to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai in these last days and times. And praying, and fasting, and supplica supplication is a huge part of that, man. Is a huge part of being acceptable to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, showing that you're sorryful for for, for 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 living wickedly, man, for for going after the ways of the of Satan, man, for going after the ways of this world, man, for being a demon, man. You we seeking repentance, we seeking forgiveness of sins, we seeking mercy, we seeking grace, and all of these things are achieved 
through prayer and fasting. <coughs> this is the book of Acts chapter 14 verse 23. And when they had ordained them elders in every church and had prayed with fasting, they commended them to the Lord and whom they believed. Come so prayer and fasting is one of the key ways, is one of the main ways in which you, you gain acceptance to your how about shame, how shy, man. You know what I mean? Because you're humbling yourself, man. You 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 you, you at your, your weakest point, man, you're at your breaking point, man, when you fasting. When, when you're praying, man, it, with the utmost humility, man, once you're in the right spirit, man, yeah, how about Shemi, how shy, Abaratiza will surely accept your prayers and your fasting, man, as oblation, man, as oblation for your sins, man, you know what I mean? And Abaratiza, he would have mercy upon you. <coughs> this is the book of Matthew. Chapter 6, verse 6. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut thy door, pray to thy father, which is in secret. And thy father, which see it, which see it in secret, shall reward thee openly. Come. So, so, so praying... Man, especially when you pray, man, you don't mean as like as these hypocrites, man. Like for example, you have these Islamic people, man, who pray anywhere, man, in front of the whole public. Nah, man, that that's not the way to pray, man. Yahabashim Yahweh Shai say what? Enter into your secret place, man. Because this is a solitary, this is a solitary moment, man. Prayer is a solitary moment, man, between you and your Yahweh Shai, man. Is it is it it is it is a one on one conversation, man. You know what I mean? It's not something for public for public demonstration. No, man. Because it, 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 that public demonstration is bringing what? Fit, you're trying to bring fame or glory or showing that you're so super righteous, man. Which we are not, man. We are not super righteous, man. Our righteousness is, un, is unto the Lord as filthy rags. <coughs> Verse 7. But when ye pray, use not vain repetitions as the heathen do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Can so even when you pray, man, you be like straight and concise, man. Straight up with the Lord, man. Honestly, not vain repetitions, man, like these heathens do, man. Doing their doing their demonic chants, man. Whether you see these Muslims doing it, man, these Christians doing their Hail Marys, man. All these different demonic chants, man, they're repeating it, man. Why? Because it is it's like a spell, man. You know what I mean? It is a it, it is it is a spell that they that they're casting, man, praying unto Satan, man. But we as the men of the Lord, we are to be straight and to the point for the most part, man. Because Yahweh Bashem Shai is a living power, man, and he know what you need it, man, even before you say it, man. So just be frank and honest and concise, man, when dealing with Yahweh Bashem Shai. <clears throat> Can it's gonna to get to that point. This is the book of Matthew, chapter six, verse eight. Be be not ye therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things ye have need of before you ask of him. Come, so you how about Shem Shai already know what we need of man before we even ask of him, ask of him, man. So vain repetition, vain babbling when you're praying, man, is not necessary, man. Straight and to the point, concise. And I'll jump to the the 16th verse. Moreover, when ye fast, be not as the hypocrites of sad countenance, for they disfigure their faces, and that they may appear unto men to fast. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. Come, so even when you're fasting, man, when you're afflicting your soul for 24 hours or 48 hours or however long that the Spirit might have you to do, <coughs> be regular, man. Be as regular as possible, man. Don't show it unto the world that, you, that you're fasting, man. Be regular, man. Because a fast, the afflicting of your soul, is a personal, is a personal uh, testament between you and your Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. But the hypocrites do that, man. Like you see these, these Muslims or these Hindus, man, when they're fasting, they have a sad countenance, man. They, they are disheveled, man, and jacked up, man. Nah, man. When, when you're fasting, man, you be like acting as normal as possible, man. Because why? That fasting, that affliction is a spiritual thing, man. It's a spiritual affliction between you and your Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. 
asking your Bashim Yashai to forgive you of your sins, man, to, to guide you and protect you and watch over you. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 17. But thou, when thou fastest, anoint thine head and wash thy face, can be regular. That thou appear not unto men to fast, but unto thy father which is in secret, and thy father which see it in secret shall reward thee openly. Come to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is all about humility, man. It is not about boasting or being the best or being the most super righteous, man. Now, nah, man, it's about humility, man. Humility, man. Because all those guys out there, these different religions, philosophies, great men in this world that are regarded, they, 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 they are regarded for what? For being openly, openly super righteous men, which is really not men, because they're really fake and phonies, men, because they ain't worshiping the, the one and only true power. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Now, close it up with one more quick script. This is the book of This is the book of First Thessalonians chapter 5 This is the book of First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16. Rejoice evermore. Pray without season. Can so we have to pray without season, man. Pray constantly. In your head, if you're in public, you pray in your head, man. You, you pray to your Bashim Yahweh to guide you, protect you, watch over you. You know what I mean? Protect you. Protect you, protect you from the evil forces. But all of this is, a, is in your head, man. If you are among the public, man. And then when you get a chance, you enter into a solitary place. And you pray to your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. You know what I mean? Giving all honor and all praises. Call Halaliyam Yahweh about Shem Yahweh Shai. So pray with our seasons, man. Our, our mind belongs const constantly meditating and giving all praises unto your how about Shem Yahweh Shai, man. Rejoice evermore. Pray without season. So like you pray without season. In everything, give thanks. For this is the will of Yahweh in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai concerning you. So, come, so we, we have to give thanks in everything, man. You eat the food, you give thanks to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. You reach your destination safely, you give thanks to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Anything you do, man, you know what I mean? You're able to pay your bills and take care of your family, you give thanks to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. In everything you do, in every way, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is responsible for you to get them through. Or you're not getting through, man. So we pray to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that He guides us and protects us and allows us to do what we have to do, man. You know what I mean? Do what we have to do and make it through the day, man. Give us our daily bread. You understand? So, hey, with much prayer and fasting, man, we shall surely enter into the kingdom of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. For this is one of the one of the main duties of man, man, to give our praises unto Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And to afflict thy soul in showing humility, man, in showing sacrifice, man, in showing all our respects, man, to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. And with that, I want to say, Kal Halaliam Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Bashem Harakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and rule well. And Shalom to all the saints that came out there, pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom.